I'm Yashika. I am Sachi. I am Sia. Today we are here to talk about city planning and the maths involved in it. Maths is everywhere. It is obvious that a city planning will not be escaping maths as well. Designing a city or preparing its model requires a lot of maths, especially geometry. Wait, what's geometry? It is the oldest branch of mathematics that uses shape, size, position, angle and dimension of things. Well, coming back to our topic, maths in preparing a city model. For this, first we need to make a city model. The foremost thing you all must have noticed in our project are the 3D shapes of buildings. Yes, we have used the concepts of many 3D shapes like cylinder, cone, cube and cuboid and many more. Additional to 3D shapes, we have also collaborated the idea of 2D shapes. Likewise, you can see in the roads which are rectangular in shape and the pond which is circular in shape. Also, we have used the concept of angles in this model. Firstly, in the park, we have used acute angle on the swing and on the ladder of the slide. Secondly, near the school, we have used right angle to make the footpath. And the last, we have used obtuse angle for the flyover we have made of the roads. Street path which goes in two directions is a line. In this project, we can notice many lines. Horizontal lines from left to right. Vertical lines from top to bottom. Parallel lines, lines which never meet. Perpendicular lines, lines making an angle of 90 degree. And intersecting lines when two or more lines meet. We have used the concept of mensuration in this model. Firstly, we have found the area of the base and then divided it into different sections according to the objects placed, like buildings, parks, hotels, etc. After calculating their areas as well. Maths is equally important for making the models of actual cities, which is mainly called urban strategy. While their design is qualitative, maths goes into it and make it quantitative. Maths allows to quantify. If you know basic concept, then nothing is difficult. As we come to end, we just want to say that geometry is the archetype of the beauty of the world. Your reasoning is derived from incorrectly drawn figures. 